Hey peeps, how are you? It's been a while. I'm Tom Bennett, here in my studio in Brooklyn, and today we're going to talk about monotypes. We're going to, uh, I'm going to do a little experimentation with the idea of taking, making a monotype, printing it, and then taking the same plate, making a new image, and printing that over the original image. <clears throat> and if that makes sense. I'm going to take this plate, this plexiglass plate here that I've covered with ink, oil-based etching inks, and I'm going to take some turpentine as a solvent, and throw that on there, and I'm also going to take some citrus thinner, which is an organic um, healthy home product, which breaks up the ink in a very different way, and we'll see what happens. Okay, so I'm going to take a little uh, turpentine, and I'm just going to throw some on there. Spray maybe a little bit of it, and let that, let that, um, break up, wait a few minutes. I might wait as much as 15 minutes or so and let it uh, break up a little bit and come back. So here we have turpentine that's been um, sitting and breaking up the ink. And the ink was uh, not completely dry. It was a little, uh, a little wet here and there. But um, that's where these, these kinds of interesting uh, accidents happen. I'm gonna take some, I'm gonna take a rag and just make some marks in here. Removing some of the ink, creating sort of a, um, a texture a little bit. Um, and then, I'm going to take some of this citrus thinner and I'm going to just pour some on. And this breaks up the, the ink and the paint very differently, you'll see. Um, and it has a... It, You'll see that it it actually removes quite a bit of the ink uh, where it sits, but I'm going to let that stay for a bit, and we'll come back. Okay, here it's been tacking up a bit, but it's very it's still very wet. But you can see that the um, that the different uh, chemicals have, have uh, created some really interesting, some really interesting um, form. And here you can see <clears throat> some of that citrus uh, thinner has broken up the ink and the paint to create these really sharp edged um, forms here and there's some nice feathered kind of soft abstraction down here but ultimately when we we print uh, much of this is probably going to change a little bit but that's that's the exciting thing the exciting part of monotyping um, so I'm just gonna let this let this sit a little bit more So I've got this abstract design that I like, <clears throat> and um, I'm going to wait for it to just dry a little bit more, and then I'm going to print. Uh, I'm not going to film the printing uh, process because we've seen that before. That You can find that in some of my other videos, but I'm just going to bring this down to the press and print it, and then we'll go from there. So I've, I printed the first 
The first print, which is going to be sort of like on a background, but it's going to it's the first print of a two print process with this plate. And here's the ghost image. And it's kind of interesting, this beautiful abstract thing going on here. And due to the the type of solvent involved that citrus thinner and almost creates a, a negative in, in a weird way. Um, I'm going to take this plate and work back into it using this as a template and um, then print that image onto this. If that makes sense, I don't know. It's all very confusing, isn't it? Actually, it's pretty simple. Anyway, I'm going to get to that um, soon. <clears throat> so here we have the, the original plate that I just printed, or I printed earlier, with the ghost image of what was on there. And it's a kind of a template for me to decide where what I'm going to do with the new image. And I'm going to just take a grease pencil and just lightly draw kind of uh, some marks, making some marks here where I'm going to come back with the, uh, the ink and uh, work it. Take some turpentine. Come in with some turpentine and I'm going to remove some of this, clean this up here. It's all very experimental. Ultimately, there's going to be a lot of serendipity, a lot of kind of crazy stuff happening as I do this. But we shall we shall see. So. <clears throat> so I've made this um, this image here. This is all just very experimentational. Experimentational? Is that a word? Experimental. I'm losing it. Um, you know, you can you can use all sorts of different uh, techniques. Obviously, I'm just making I'm just making an image for this purpose of printing it on top of the the original image and. Um, so that's it. We're going to now take the paper, the original print, and um, dampen it. Now this is the print I made earlier, and um, paper's dry now. So the paper needs to be a little damp for the ink to, to be printed properly. The paper needs to be soft. So rather than putting this paper back into a water bath, I don't want to do that. I'm just going to take some water in a spray bottle and mist it like so a couple of times. Do it a few times and let it sit for a bit. And then we're going to go to the print shop. So here I'm in the basement on my press. I've placed the damp paper down face up 
and I've placed the plate that's inked face down on top of the original image. Because I find, personally, it's easier to um, for me to quickly um, do that to to, uh, to to find the <clears throat> the right place for it. Um, and then I'm simply going to place some newsprint over this and prep and put it through the press. And excuse me if I sound, I don't know, like a strange creature from Mars. It's, um, it's just like a lot of my videos. I'm like half asleep. That's me. I'm sleepy, Tom. I'm running for president someday. So, here's the final print. It's a double print. I don't know what you'd call it. I'm, tactically, it may not be really a monotype because I'm using the plate twice, you know, over the same um, area. Uh, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not sure. Maybe it's, I could call it a monotype with a ghost monotype. Call it whatever you want. I don't know. But it's an experiment. Just have... Um, have some fun, practice different techniques. This is just one. Oh, and one more thing. If you like this video, like it, um, make a comment, ask me some questions, give me some critique, tell me you love me or hate me, subscribe, um, and all that stuff. Thank you. Hey, 